Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be going over AutoCAD, the web app. So let's dive right into it. So one of the main advantages of AutoCAD web is the price. Uh, you get a very similar structure to regular AutoCAD, um, but you also gain the ability to use and draw DWG files um, for a fraction of the price. If you come here and you look here and you go to buy AutoCAD web, it's $100 a year. Um, this is in comparison to regular AutoCAD, which is a few thousand dollars. Um, or if you're using tokens, you, you have to buy the tokens to use. So this also comes down to, or you can do like uh, $10 a month for one user. So if you actually buy it, you get two months free if you buy the, the one year the one year plan here. You can see here that uh, on Autodesk's website, which I'll leave a description, uh, a link, sorry, down in the description for you to go check this out yourself. It goes and tells you why AutoCAD Web is best. Um, so it's it's trusted for for you know architects and everyone. You can it's a familiar interface. You can use DWG from anywhere, and you can design and fix things directly on the job site. Absolutely useful. Um, would I recommend this for a full-time AutoCAD um, replacement? Uh, I don't think I would. Um, this is a good supplementary tool to use, or if maybe if you're a student you just want to learn AutoCAD a little bit, um, then you can use it for that. But I would recommend you do find a way to get the full version of AutoCAD, or even get AutoCAD LT if you're really serious about getting into design. And then if you come down here, you're going to see that we can compare the related products. So AutoCAD Web has some of the basic tools you need to do 2D drafting and design, where AutoCAD LT and full AutoCAD have full. Cloud integration is full, DWG markup and review is full, and then there's no automation or customization. So if you click here and you go to view in-depth comparison, then you're going to be brought to this page and you can see the differences. So AutoCAD LT is a little to over five times the price. However, you get a much more robust um, version of AutoCAD where you can you know, do your classes, you can do your, your actual AutoCAD work. Um, on a desktop, on a workstation, and be able to get that extra power. Um, whereas with AutoCAD Web, you have some of that ability, but you don't have all of that ability. And uh, you can also use it on mobile, which is good. Um, however, it's just, it's not as good as AutoCAD LT or regular AutoCAD. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna bring you to AutoCAD Web App, uh, and we're gonna show you what it kind of looks like. So once you open AutoCAD the Web App, you're gonna come here and you're gonna see that you have this new um, interface. It's, it's very modern. Uh, it, it looks a little bit like regular AutoCAD. However, you're gonna notice that it's a lot more lightweight because this has to be mobile friendly. So you're going to see here you can save things, you can add storage and everything else like that, but you don't need to do that. You can also upload files, upload folders. But if you come here, you can see there's new drawing and there's um, you can do you know select your metric, your imperial. So we're going to just select imperial here. It'll take a little bit to load and it'll open AutoCAD and you're going to see that there's a few changes from standard AutoCAD. So if you take a look at this right here, you're going to notice your draw tools are up here. Your annotation tools are right here as well, and your modify tools are here as well. But on this side, properties, layers, blocks, everything XREF is on this side of the program. And I'm just going to show you that in comparison to AutoCAD 2025 for a moment. So if you open standard AutoCAD, you're going to see that we have a variety and much more tools at our disposal. So if you come here and you click new, we are instantly almost brought into our workspace. And you can see that we have much more tools. We have more access to things. Our layers are up here. Our blocks and everything is up here instead of out on the side. And when you draw something, I'm going to show you this. If you grab a circle and then you go and you draw your circle, um, it's, it's, it, it looks like this. You highlight things. Stuff looks like that. But I'm going to show you when we go back into AutoCAD Web how that looks. So over here in AutoCAD Web App, you come here and we go to select our circle. We go and we draw our circle pretty much the same. You select your circle. You're going to see that it's not fully highlighted. It's highlighted, but it's a dot instead. This is to probably lower the load on the system. However, you're going to notice that, again that there's it's it's much simpler. Like it's it's way simpler. It's not as complex and it's much easier to use and it's especially easier to use for a beginner. Um, this video was just as a introduction pretty much to AutoCAD Web App because we're going to be doing a little bit of work in AutoCAD Web App uh, and I just wanted to show you guys kind of what it's like and how it compares a little bit to newer AutoCADs. Uh, again, it's just a short video to show this and we're going to be showcasing this program and more of AutoCAD in the coming weeks. 
uh, as our schedule starts to clear up. So uh, we thank you for your patience uh, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you and take care.